Warning, the following video contains an unethical hypnotherapy and therapy practices and is intended as a fantasy roleplay only. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi there. Oh good, I see you've already changed into comfy PJs. I guess I don't need to ask how you're feeling. I can see that you're exhausted. Alright, let me look at your end chart. All right, let me take a look at your intake chart here. Hmm. Mm hmm. Huh, okay. Goodness. You've been having sleep issues for a while, huh? You should have come to us a little sooner, you know. I see you've tried various remedies. Conventional medicine, homeopathics, even CBD. Hmm. And you're here with us tonight for... Oh. Hypnotherapy. Oh no, there's no problem with that as such. It's just that our house hypnotherapist is out today. She had a family matter to attend to, so it was kind of last minute. I know, I'm terribly sorry. We should have alerted you before you came in tonight. I feel so bad about it. I mean, you're already dressed for sleep and everything. <laughs> well, I do have one idea. I've been studying hypnosis myself. I don't feel confident enough to practice actual therapy yet, but I think I should be able to manage to put you to sleep at least. And if not, no harm done. Only, only, if you're willing, of course. This would all be completely unofficial. I, um, I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I'd love to get a chance to practice on an actual client. But if you're not willing, no worries at all. No pressure. Come to think of it, I think I can also still arrange light therapy for tonight instead. I, uh, don't think you've tried that before either. Oh, really? You'd like to give hypnosis a shot, after all? Wonderful. Okay. I'll still schedule a session with your actual hypnotherapist for actual therapy, okay? Does next week work for you, same time? Alright, I'll put that in the system right now, just so we don't forget later. There. Again. I'm terribly sorry about not calling you in time. I hope that I'll be able to help you out tonight myself, though. So I take it you've never been hypnotized before. Well, this should be a fun experience for you, then, whether it works or not. Please, go ahead and lie down on the bed. Okay, so are you okay with being touched? Okay, well, if you're okay with it, I'd like to attach some measurement pads onto your chest. We don't usually do this for hypnosis sessions, but I think it might be useful to monitor you as you sleep. We can compare the readouts between different treatment methods and get a more quantitative assessment of what works for you and what doesn't. I mean, not that I don't think it won't work, but just in case, you know? It's good to have a reference either way. You're all right with it? Great. Don't worry. These new wireless pads are really quite unobtrusive. <laughs> yes, we've come a long way since those bulky wired things. Now, I do have to come quite close to you to attach them. I hope you don't mind. Okay. Just relax. This will only take a moment. The first one goes 
right here. Let me just rub it a little bit just to make sure it's adhering properly. There we go. That's one. And now for the second one. Voila. All done. <laughs> that wasn't so bad now, was it? And didn't my hands feel nice and warm? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this isn't proper procedure, but since you seem okay with being touched and all, and this is unofficial anyway, how would you feel about a scalp massage? It just seems to me that it would be a great way to prepare your body and your mind. You're okay with it? Okay. Thank you. You know, you're really a delightful client to work with, you know? Now I'll explain what I'm doing step by step. This way you can already start getting used to my voice and listening to me, okay? I'm going to start by massaging your temples. Drawing gentle yet firm circles with my fingertips. How was that? Good. I'm glad. <laughs> you still have a bit of a furrow on your brows, though. Let's see if I can't smooth them out. <laughs> I'll be rubbing my thumbs over your brows now. Rubbing away the tension. And now I'm going to be gliding my thumbs up your forehead, starting from the middle and moving outward towards your headline. You're already looking more at ease. That's wonderful. I'm lightly raking my fingertips on your scalp now, all over your head working towards your crown. Yes, good. And we finish the massage at the crown. There we go. How was that? Now you're feeling nice and relaxed now? Good. Let's get started with the hypnosis then. There really isn't all that much you have to do to make it work. Just close your eyes and relax. All that I'd like for you to do is listen to my voice and try to follow my instructions to the best of your ability. So when I tell you, take a deep breath in like this. I'd like you to take a deep breath in And you don't have to wait for me to tell you to breathe out. Just do what comes naturally. What you find comfortable. Take another deep breath in. And let it out. That's it. Keep breathing slowly and steadily in the way that is most comfortable for you. You can breathe as fast or as slow as you'd like, as deeply 
or as shallowly as feels right. And when I tell you to breathe in, just do so whenever it feels most natural to do so. You can breathe together with me, or a little while later. It doesn't matter. Just follow my instructions at your own pace. Breathing in and out. Just like that. Focusing on my voice and breathing in and out. You're doing very well. Now the next thing I'd like you to do is relax. Let yourself sink into the bed. We're going to scan your body together, just to make sure that every single part of it is nice and relaxed. Let's start with your feet. Notice them. Are they sore? Are they tired? It's all right. They can rest now. Feel how they become loose and limp. And then let your attention move up. Up towards your calves. Feel how they grow heavy as you let go of all of the tension in your calves. And now, let your attention travel further upwards, past your knees, over your thighs, to your hips, releasing all tension as your attention moves past. Moving on to your belly now. Notice how it rises as you breathe in and falls as you breathe out. Let your belly relax and move on to your chest. Breathe a little more deeply if it's comfortable to do so. And then continue to your shoulders and let them sink into the mattress. Keep going to your upper arms, to your forearms, into your hands. Note how your fingers feel. And then let them relax. Moving up your neck now to your jaw. Getting rid of any stress, any tension. And going a little higher still. Up to the back of your head and to your face, paying attention to how wonderfully relaxed your eyebrows and your forehead feel. And then finally, move up, up, up 
to the crown of your head until you are completely relaxed. Very good. Take another deep breath in. And let it out. Very, very good. Keep listening to my voice. Keep following my instructions. I would like to do a little imagination exercise with you. I will be describing some things to you, and I'd like you to try to picture them as best as you can. But if you don't see these things I'm saying to you, that's all right too. You can just enjoy the sound of my voice. Everything is fine. Everything will be fine, just as long as you listen. Listen. It's night time. You are in a forest. The moon is full shining high overhead. The mossy ground feels soft and cool against your bare feet. You hear the leaves rustling in the wind. And the sound of a brook babbling nearby. You are calm at peace. You decide to follow the water, walking along the little stream. Your hands trailing along the ferns, step by step by step. walking in the forest. The air smells crisp and clean. All is well. You keep walking until you arrive in a clearing. There are no more trees. There is only an enormous lake. It is calm and placid, reflecting the moon like a mirror. And there's something else, something by the edge of the lake. You can't quite make it out, but it looks white but it looks white with little blue lights glowing softly, pulsing, beckoning you. You walk closer and notice it's shaped like a teardrop, big and bulbous in the front, trailing off to a point. And there's a row of blue lights on the side, pulsing, like they're telling you to come closer. And you do. It's fascinating. You've never seen anything like this before. It looks alien, and yet familiar. You wonder what it's made of. 
you reach out and touch it. And with a hiss, a panel opens. There is a bed inside, and it looks so incredibly comfortable, like it was made just for you. You can't help yourself as you climb in and lie down on the bed, which is perfectly molded to your body. It feels right. It feels like where you belong, lying on this bed, listening to my voice. You're still doing very well. Vaguely, you are aware that the panel has closed again. But that's all right, too. You feel safe. Like a baby in the womb. Safe. The walls are transparent from the inside. And you can see the lake in front of you. You wonder what this thing is if it could perhaps be some kind of vehicle. I wonder if it could move. If it could transport you. And as you wonder, you notice a sound. A humming, thrumming sound. And it moves. You are floating. Somehow, you know you can go anywhere. But what you are really curious about is the lake. This magic lake in the middle of the forest. You want to dive down into it. You float over the lake. And then... Safely, you sink down, 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 into the lake. It's impossibly deep, but the water is crystal clear, but you can't see the bottom at all. There's just a little pinprick of light far away, but it's growing bigger, because you are going deeper. My voice is taking you deeper, deeper and deeper, and deeper down. And I want you to know it's perfectly all right if you're starting to lose track of my words. If your attention is starting to wane and wander. It doesn't matter. Some part of you is still listening. It's even entirely fine if you just start to drift off to sleep. That's what you're here for, after all. To sleep. But you still want to go a little deeper. And you are going deeper and deeper and deeper into the lake. It feels so wonderful to lie here. Not doing anything. Completely safe. Just relaxing, listening to my voice. You can see the fish in the lake moving past. Little fish, big fish, entire schools of fish. Glittering in the blue light. It's beautiful. 
and relaxing. It makes you so sleepy. The fish drifting by, flickering and sparkling. And yet, you can't draw your eyes away from the light at the bottom of the lake. You can start to make it out more clearly now. It's a glowing spiral, drawing you in, drawing you down, spinning and swirling, growing bigger and bigger as you keep going deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper down, till the spiral is all you can see, and my voice is all you can hear, and it feels good, it feels safe. You can't look away from the spiral keeps getting bigger, and you keep going deeper, and you become more and more drowsy, more and more sleepy. You're almost close enough to reach out and touch the spiral now. It's all you can see, and you can barely keep your eyes open anymore. Somehow you know that as soon as you hit the spiral, you will fall asleep. It's a matter of seconds now. Three. The spiral filling your view. Two. My voice filling your mind. One. You touch the spiral, and you sleep, 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 sleep. And now that you're asleep, now let's just get you tucked in.